everyone and welcome back to the Gentle Dog Trainers channel. I'm your host Olivia De Santos and Pip and this is my dog Pip. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about how to move houses with a dog. This is a very difficult thing to do and it has a lot of moving parts to it so if you want a really in detail guide about how to move with a dog check out the description box down below where I have an article that goes into a lot of detail on this topic there are so many things to cover but also note that there are chapters depending on where you are in this process of moving with your dog whether it's after you've moved or before you've moved or if you're preparing to pack or whatever so jump to the section that is most relevant for you if you're right at the beginning then I recommend watching it all because then it will help you prepare and execute a perfect move. But before we dive into the video I encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you want to raise happy, healthy and well behaved dogs. We make videos every single week so click the notification bell, click the subscribe button so you never miss an upload and let's dive in. So before the move there are two aspects to this, packing and preparation. Let's start with preparation first. First thing to do is to identify your local support system. So this includes professionals like dog sitters, dog walkers and vets in your new address. Who is available to you and how can they support you? How much is that going to cost you each month, each week, etc. That also includes more informal support systems like do you have any friends in the local area? Do you have dog friends in the local area? Are your neighbours versed in looking after dogs and would they be able to help in an absolute emergency? These are good things to know before you move. To a degree you can sort this out afterwards but I do find that preparation and doing this beforehand is just a little bit easier. The second part of preparing your move with your dog is to just determine the local walking routes. So part of introducing your dog to your new home will include some walking to a degree, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So identify what that walking route is, what's your nearest walking route and if your dog is a very active dog then you might want to identify the larger walking routes that you want to take them on so that could be beaches, hikes, um, activities and competitions etc. The next way to prepare is to consider anti-anxiety medication. So if your dog is going to struggle a lot with this move, like they are naturally quite anxious, then you might consider some anti-anxiety medication during the actual move. Now there are herbal uh, alternatives to actual pharmaceuticals, so do talk to your vet about these if you don't want to give them like an actual drug but it can be really helpful during the move because having because moving is one of the most stressful things to do in general so adding on your dog stress is just going to amplify everything so if you can keep them calm then everything else will be a little easier the next thing to prepare is a dog sitter for moving day any sort of trusted dog sitter, maybe even kennels if you're moving somewhere particularly far, um, might be very helpful for the day of actual moving. This isn't always possible and it's not within everyone's budget, but if you can, I would recommend arranging a dog sitter for the day of moving. The next way to prepare for your dog's move is to retrain them in any sort of new challenges that could arise in your new address. So for example, if you have neighbours much closer than you did before, then you might want to start the process of training them to stop barking all of the time because that could be a real nuisance to your neighbours and it could actually cause issues with those neighbours. Similarly, if you are moving from a smaller apartment to a really large detached house, then your recall skills has to be really, really good. Like you have to have a really strong bond with your dog and be able to call them from the bottom of the garden back to the house in no time at all. So make sure that you start that process, you plant those seeds and start training them in how to live in the new house as opposed to when you get there. Strengthening those skills when you get the, when you get to the house is going to be easier than training them from scratch. The final way to prepare for your moving house with your dog is to crate train your dog. If they haven't been crate trained before, now is a good time to do it. 
this really helps with the moving process if they're going to be in a crate but also when you are doing a lot of unpacking and things like that then you might want your dog to be in a crate for short amounts of time whilst you are unpacking and offloading really large items so for this reason it's really helpful to crate train your dog now before you've done the move then during the move because it will just be super stressful for them and super stressful for you if they feel really uneasy in a crate okay so let's move on to packing then the first thing is that you need to make sure that all of your travel apparel documentation um, car harnesses car seat belts crates things like that are not packed away the things that you'll need to actually move your dog need to be in your car so i would put those in the car straight away so that you don't accidentally pack them in one of the boxes also people tend to be very very tempted to do some decluttering as they are packing to move to a different house which i completely understand but when it comes to your dog's items try to take as many of them with you as possible now is not the time to declutter those because it's going to stress them out if they are in a new environment and with all new items or with not with the items that they are used to so make sure that you bring as many of your dog's toys beds etc with you i know it can be a bit of a faff to have to pack all of that stuff and you want to get rid of some of it you can get rid of some of it a couple of months after you have moved but during the moving process is not the time to accidentally lose some dog toys try and keep them with you so that it's easier to settle your dog in to the new home when you get there staying on that point try not to wash things either so don't wash the blankets or your dog's beds or anything like that when you're moving them over it's best that they have as much of their own smell on those items when they arrive at the new house because then it will make your dog feel a bit more at home much quicker of course you can wash them after your dog has settled to the other home but don't wash them before the move okay so the next session is on the move itself so if you're traveling with your dog in a car then you need to learn dog car safety and the next video that we are publishing on the gentle dog trainers channel will be about traveling safely in a car with your dog so click the subscribe button hit the notification bell and you won't miss that video so that's coming up next and i will link it in the icards above me when it is ready to sing your dog to the new house the first thing that you'll want to do is exercise your dog. So take them on one of those routes that you have identified in the preparation stage. Take them on a nice walk around the neighborhood and that will just help release some of that pent up energy, release some of those nerves before they go into the new house. So take them on a walk, come around and then walk into the new house. As you are exploring the new house, make sure that all of the windows and doors are closed just whilst they are exploring. Some recommend that you walk your dog around with a leash first and you can absolutely do that. Um, others prefer to just let their dog roam freely but to make sure that all of the rooms are secure so that they can roam freely throughout the house. If they are roaming freely then do still follow them, make sure that they are still supervised in their exploration so that you can see what they are most interested in, what they gravitate to, any particular hazards or difficulties that your dog may have so for example are they struggling to walk up certain stairs uh, do they really gravitate to a certain corner in the living room maybe that's a good place for their crate space to be or their bed space to be etc so you know just take them on a walk around the house however you want to with leash or without but make sure that it's very secure during your move you also want to identify a safe space so this could be a room this could be a crate space, um, somewhere that your dog can be when there is a lot of movement happening in the rest of the house. You want this place to be quite quiet, you want it to be as minimal movement and boxes and stuff around this space, um, just so that there is somewhere that they can hide when there's a lot of commotion. So whilst you are unpacking all of your things, make sure that they are away in their safe space. But when things settle again, make sure that they can feel 
free in that home. You do want them to feel as settled as possible, perhaps create several bedding spaces for them so they feel as comfortable as possible. Okay, so after the move, now that your dog has moved and you have moved and you've unpacked your things, how can you help your dog settle into this new home? The first thing to do is to establish a daily routine. Whatever your daily routine is going to be, try and establish that as early as possible. Now give yourself some grace. Setting a daily routine is quite difficult to do, but if your dog always ate at seven in the morning and then four o'clock in the afternoon, then try to keep up those times. If you're going to change the timings for their meals, their walks, etc., establish that really early on and keep it as consistent as you humanly possibly can. Make sure that all members of your household know what that routine is as well so that there isn't too much confusion for your dog where they're getting treatment from one family member this way and from you a different way and from another family member a different way. Keep it as consistent as possible. The next way to help your dog settle into their new home is to make some local doggy friends. Identify a dog park, identify maybe some activities that they can get involved in and make new connections that way. That will also help you feel more settled into your neighborhood as well as your dog. The final note when settling your dog into a new house is just to practice patience. It might take a little bit of time for them to feel the space and really get to know it. It's the same for the neighbourhood. Explore the neighbourhood really gradually. Make sure that when you've identified those dog friendly walks that you are taking it slow to explore the neighbourhood. You don't have to do everything in the first month. You could just keep things relatively simple whilst your dog is settling. And you know, it's okay for moving to be stressful. Moving is stressful. It's one of the major life events and it's okay to feel a little bit anxious about this. It's not going to be a perfect system, but I hope that this video has helped you in trying to relieve some of the stress of moving with your dog. If you like this video, then give it a like. Click the subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.